Have you ever found yourself desperately short of titanium just as you're trying to organize the new storage system? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you where to find it. Hey there, I am Iota, and I played this game. This game being Raft. We're here outside Tangaro, and I'm going to show you how I score oodles of titanium super quick and easy. Best thing to do when you're drifting around, keep the sail up, drift back and forth, and just keep going back to Tangaro. Turn that off so I don't lose my battery. Got to get positioned really nice, right? We can't uh, can't walk too far from the parking lot. Now, obviously, Tangaro is a ring, so just pick a direction. You could probably remember where the uh, access is, but I don't bother. Butler bots, of course, don't really make a difference because you can outrun them. And the key here is to get to the underground access and go back to where we started. Now, there is sometimes one of those lurkers down here, but uh, it's not always consistent. Now, if you need strawberries or banana plants, obviously the plantation is the place to find it. Oh, well, grab the strawberries because, you know, they don't take any time. But I've got enough bananas. I'm not really going to worry about it. Now. The elevator is what we're looking for. Because we don't want to go up it yet. We want to go back to the loading bay. Is it the loading bay? No, not the loading bay. It's a good thing that there's these... Ah, there it is, the storage area been here many times, but I never seem to remember exactly how I manage it. Now, this is where we can run into one of those stupid lurkers. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. So that's obviously the place. Now we want to get back to the storage bay. Can't go that way. Just follow the signs. It's not particularly challenging. But once we get into the storage area, right? Crane controls. Everybody remembers this room and the giant pain in the butt that it was. And obviously everything resets. But if you come over here and you crouch down, you'll realize that there is that opening. Now, sometimes if you move the things around, it will leave it open. Sometimes you have to maneuver these, but the trick is you just crouch down, look around, figure out where to do it, and you can just keep using the controls over here to move things around. It's just more of a pain in the butt because now you have to kind of guess and remember where things were, right? So obviously, you know, you could memorize that. But I don't need to because I already did that. And this time it allowed me to keep it open. And check that out. Hooray, free machetes. Never buy a machete again. And this is the absolute easiest way to score a big pile of titanium. And you'll see right there, five. Now sometimes I do recall it being better than that, but... The other place to get cheap stuff. You know, we want to get the plantation. We want to get to the elevator because the elevator has the secret passage down to the basement, the 20th. And that has some other goodies. I can't remember if it has any titanium. It ha doesn't seem to have consistently. But. And so we follow it to the elevator. Haha, there 
there we go. You can see. Gotta call the elevator. But it's okay. This is where you can find that tape for elevator music and, you know, fill your time with elevator music. So we're going to be on minus four. Open. Come in here. And so you'll see we got eight and zero and minus four. Zero is ground level where you can open the door. But what we want to do is take the secret passage down to minus 20. Tangaro is a ball, so if you swim underneath it, you can see it's spherical. So this takes us down to the lowest of the levels. And there's a couple of treasure chests, which are worth grabbing. Of course, you can wander around Tangaroa for quite a while. But this is really where all the, the best stuff is. So... Three big crates, safes, I guess. One briefcase. Now, obviously, you can keep going around the buildings to look for the Tangaroa tokens. If you haven't bought up all of the goodies from the vending machines, you can keep finding more uh, bits of titanium, bits of other stuff. But honestly, it starts to get repetitive. And at this point, we've got nine titanium, plus a couple other awesome bits there, glass and now, we can just head on back to the raft. Beauty is, we just take the raft out, we go around, we reset, just keep the island uh, in your finder. Where's my raft? Keep the island logged into the, um, you know, the radar system, and it'll just keep bringing you back to it. And so as you're building up the, the cool raft and, and designing things and thinking about stuff and cooking up meals and whatever else, you just keep drifting on back to, to Tangaroa, picking up nine titanium at a pop. And boom, all of a sudden, you know that, oh, do I really want to spend titanium on large storages to make a really kick-ass inventory larder for my cookeries? Well, now it's really a, a nothing thing to do it. So, I do feel like I could have gotten the raft just a little bit closer, you know. Parking a little too far from the store entrance there. Now we get up here. Now we go. Chuck our titanium around. Now, obviously, this isn't the first time I've done it, so I'm going to stop that up totally dump off a couple of these other things and I'm going to show you the storage system that I'm going to use well, going to make with all this extra stuff I am going to need more plastic that is okay uh -huh. what am I doing here? oh yeah strawberry seeds Strawberry seeds. Now, and you know, because I've already done this a whole bunch of times, I guess I can just grab some more titanium and make up my storage units with that. I'm trying to give myself a, a nicer place to put all of my cookery. Here we go. Now, to be honest, this is not the efficient way to do it. This is with the four stacks of... Basically, these ones fit like twice as much, but they take up the space of four, so they're only half as good. But I thought it would be kind of nice to have a bit of a rack. And my plan was to do it as like a double, double inventory. So if we flip that around... Like so. And then what I can do is come in here and all of these foods will end up filling this new larder and then I can put a label on it for, you know, a pantry, maybe I'll call it. The pantry. You know, like the, the classic restaurant from childhood. So, anyways, this 
is my new inventory. That's how I get all of this titanium in order to do it and makes it really quick and easy. Ooh. And you know what? I'm just going to have myself a little bit of chicken with jam because why not? All right. As a new day dawns over the world of Raft, I thought I'd show you where it all ended up. I shifted over the medium storage boxes over there, got my battery charging stations, and then I've got my foodstuff larder here with my, what I call it, Bilbo's larder with my uh, warthog there. And so this is where all of my stashed stuff will go. Then I've got a little bit of space here in case I want any sort of future storage expansion. And then my extra starboard dive shed over here with a second set of equipment in case I don't want to walk over to the other side of the raft. So between the main storage, a backup storage, a food storage, a future storage, and dive storage, it's all looking pretty good. So, helps to have all that plentiful supply of titanium. So, visit Tangaroa and see you around the water.